My pops opened 94. Just like all my memories, he was always working. Some of the most popular kids I knew in that area, I named sandwiches after them. I started hustling at a young age. I remember just selling CDs, $3 if you're a friend, $5. I, I had the teachers in my school like give me lists of CDs. If it wasn't for the pod, I want to meet a lot of people. Sveta's one of them. Does Lil Mo speak Italian? His family is so Italian. Okay. There's the video, he goes, uh, someone cool. goes, yeah, say three words in Italian. He goes, hey, how you, you doing? doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I died. Yo, and so I died. I got a funny story how I met. Yeah. I fucking love the accent, bro. The New York accent is crazy. Bro, you guys have the accent. We don't. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Eh? The thing is, no one takes eh? that. In. <laughs> no, you got that. What, we say A? You, a have yeah. we said it already? The A, the A is crazy. Like, the A is like... We just say it. We don't even know. No, we don't even know. I don't you know what I mean, bro? You know? <laughs> you guys sound more like Italian. Like, more like, like Italians that just learned English. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, it's yeah. true. It's yeah, actually it's true. true. Like, you, is, like, when I hear any, like, go, Toronto rip it, rip it, Italian rip it. talking, like... A Toronto Italian Canadian, I guess you say whatever. I'm like, what did he just learn how to speak English? No, no, it, man. We, I think we were, uh, we went, went to go to your spot, and your sister was there, super nice. Your dad, they really like hooked us up. I was and, unreal, uh, by the way. Yeah, thank you. For appreciate that. you. Guys well, for I think that. I was like in Italy or something. You were, you were doing something. You were no, doing I think something. you're Miami. I think you're maybe Miami. Miami. Maybe yeah. Miami. I don't know. You were but, in town though. But we walked yeah. in and then like we're like, yo, we'll get, we'll get some spros. And your sister ripped us to shreds, bro. She's like, what the fuck did you call it? Bro, let's get a spro, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck out of here, bro. Yo, yo, your sister blasted sucks. us, bro. She yeah. blasted. But that's what we say. Like, that, like, that's like a common thing in Toronto. I hate spro. I Come hate on, that. You, you hate it, eh? Spro? I know. <laughs> yeah. But why do you put the like accent that. on it? Like, it's, yeah. it's like a Persian accent you on it. Spro? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys are mad at time. Un café. All of a no, sudden, but, spro. No, yeah, yeah. But that's the second generation, like, or third generation saying spro. Yeah. Like, there's... The, the, really? the, it's not like the older Italians saying it in Toronto. They won't no. say spro. No, no, no. But no. you're second or third generation? What, what generation? My parents were born in Italy. So you're first generation? Yeah. 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 No, I'm second. I'm second. I'm second. He's second. I'm first, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you speak Italian or no? No. He, he does, I feel. He does, yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, I'm bro. the fake one. I'm no the fake wall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had no choice, bro. Yeah, it's true. Where are you guys from in Italy? Uh, my dad's from uh, Calabria. My mom's from uh, just outside of Rome. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm mainly a Brutzes, and then one of my one of my nonni is uh, from Napoli. Have you guys ever been? Of yeah. course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bro, I used to go every year and then it stopped. Like, you know, this guy's like, like a real wop, though. That's the thing. I feel like, like everyone says the same look thing. Look at him. He got the, he looks like a wop. <laughs> yeah, you know the I mean? mustache. mustache you know? <laughs> People said fuck. I look French with the mustache now. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, bro, look, that was one person. Like, chill, but, you know, I said people. But it was the most it was, famous <laughs> Italian in history has a mustache. Which one? Who? Super Mario. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> but he was Mexican, no? No way. <laughs> no, trust me. We're we're gonna gonna fact check Yo, that. somebody said he was Mexican. Oh, Mario and Luigi bro, right? there's a rumor. I'm telling you, there's a viral rumor bro, that he's I've actually. I've never heard Mexican. that rumor in my life. You guys ever heard that? Don't Maybe because you guys are in Canada and yeah, we get different kind of news and stuff, bro. Different viral moments come to Canada. Hold on a second. Listen, welcome back to the NBA podcast. Podcast. Okay, money buys happiness, guys. If you're tuning in, appreciate you. We love you. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Just fucking comment anything. You know what I mean? I we're not if, even, we're not picky, no? No, no, no. I we're, think not if, <laughs> we're not picky yet. We're not picky. No, we're not. We're definitely <laughs> we're not, not picky. picky. Eh? We're, we're not, not fucking picky. We'll take whatever, bro. Listen, give us anything. If you're fucking Italian, thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah. if, if you're if you're not Italian, you're you're probably gonna be by the end of this episode. Yep. No? I, I hope so. Or no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> or no. Right? Oh no. Oh no. Sabino, what the fuck's no. going on, bro? <laughs> Yo, or no? <laughs> no. We got my boy Sabino here with us. Yes. All right. Thanks made for it happen, me, guys. No, no appreciate thank you, bro. We made it happen coming. last minute. You made it happen last minute. Yeah. I know we fucking, bro, between all our schedules, we tried to make it happen. Um, I just had a fucking double sprawl. Double sprawl. <laughs> double <laughs> yeah, bro. Why, why is it Persian, though? Why do you got the Persian? Why, how's fucking? it Persian? Because <laughs> it's like the, the rolling of the R is so like... Spro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but bro, honestly, we, we got to make an end to the Spro shit. Really? Are we going to do it? Espresso, cafe, you know? You got to come to Toronto and, and, and preach the good word. Who started it? You think the Bello Bros? <laughs> no, 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 no. The Bello Bros are like, they, they immigrated to Canada. They didn't bring that. Yeah, that, but that's you know, maybe you're there. following their lead because they're, you know, very Italian. No, I don't I even know how it, like, it started. 
I, just, I think someone was lazy one day. They didn't want to say espresso and they just said spro. It was more of like the younger generation, like high school, like, yo, bro, it's like at lunch. Want to grab a spro? It was like one of those. So here you guys say coffee. Cafe. I mean, we'll just say espresso. Like, let's yeah. grab a, But we actually don't stop for espresso like that. No, you only, only if you're like by my place or somebody that's known, for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nobody makes good coffee. Nobody makes good espresso. That's one thing we got a lot in Toronto. We got like a lot of like the big. You guys made a shit. great espresso. Yeah, we do, but yeah. not a lot of places do. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Like, let's say when, when I'm in Florida, I'll just get Starbucks, and I, yeah. that's when I just get whatever, you know? Yeah, whatever yeah. you got. Shkivets. You that's know? what we. That's <laughs> what we just had. We just had shkivets, bro. Yeah. We just Starbucks. had Starbucks, yeah, Starbucks, bro. Well, you guys, you guys have you sell a lot of cafes though, no? Uh, yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do yeah. in Toronto. Yeah, in Toronto we do. Yeah, but large, large. Like they give large. you a little taste of water on the side. Like yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. They they know it's good. Yeah, 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 we got none of that here. Really? Yeah, I'm surprised. Two or three, you know, maybe a couple of bakeries. But there's so many it. Italians here, but not more real, in Brooklyn, not, not right? Not real Italians though. Like Italian, like not yeah. people with cafe culture. Yeah, you know? that's true. Okay. okay. Like, you know, when you go to Italy, you yeah, someone sees cafeter. you be at the Nagos. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take get get whatever you want on me. Like if you're there first, you pay. Of course. Yeah. That'll never happen here. You see a friend of yours, he's never paying for you. <laughs> no, not even never. a coffee. You're ruthless here. Eh? Ruthless. Maybe you know you find some kind of zip that's yeah. like real Italian, American. You know, it's went to Italy and understands. Of course. An everyday person, they're not paying for your coffee. But is is that more in Brooklyn, like more Italians in Brooklyn than like Manhattan? I mean, we're all I guess? spread out now, you know. Okay. Like okay. we can see where the shop is; it's very gentrified. Yes, yeah, true. But years ago, it was very Italian American. Okay. But the real estate just went up so much that the Italians cashed they out. Cashed out, yeah. <laughs> you know, cashed out, went to the suburbs. You know, yeah, true. yeah. Why not? Even me, I don't live in Brooklyn anymore. I was gonna know? ask where you live. Yeah, I live in uh, by JFK. Sick. Okay. So I live uh, forty minutes from the shop. Yeah. But I did it because I needed the backyard, you know, you the an apartment thing. or pay a mortgage, you know. True. But like then I find myself sleeping at my parents' house two nights a week. <laughs> yeah, because it's just far. staying there anyways. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like it took me forty-five minutes to get here. If I was in Brooklyn, it took me fifteen, twenty. True. True. But true. You got a bigger house, so. It's pros and cons. It's pros and cons. What do you want? Listen, we got to get into your story, obviously. Okay, we, you have oh. very, uh, you have a, you have many successful brands right now, based out of here, based out of. Mm -hmm. I guess the Italian culture as well. Mm -hmm. um, and when we met up actually with your pops, he was telling us a lot about how much you've helped the businesses and helped the brands grow. He mentioned a bit about your past. Maybe you were a promoter before. Yeah, I, I did nightlife. Bro, same with us. Yeah. We were both, yeah, yeah. We were yeah. both in, in nightlife as promoters. Bro, nightlife teaches you so much shit about Facts. business, bro. Yeah. Yep. And it's crazy. We were having a conversation yesterday with the boys and, and we were just talking about stories from nightlife. And you know how like, it can get it can become toxic that whole that whole world right mm -hmm. and we were just saying like we would do it again because the networking that we got from it the the fucking the people that we met are still to today people that we talk to and work with and and do business with so i think that was super important and i was like i don't think we'd be here today if we weren't in nightlife mm -hmm. right Facts, so same, yeah. yeah yeah so talk to us about maybe about before you got involved with with the family business and stuff like that what you were doing before um, the family businesses, yeah, because I, I kind of were started, you doing both? Uh, yeah, I was doing both. Okay, so okay. talk to us about like, that. I started working like eighth grade for real, for real. Like yeah, eighth grade. Okay, for the family business. Yeah, like for okay. real, like weekends after school, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before that, when I was even younger, it would be like summertime, where I would just always stop in, break yeah. walls, like. Be on the and register a little bit, like not even really doing anything. When did know? when did that business like start? So my pops opened ninety four. Wow, I was four years old. Okay. And my okay. sister was born like three, four months later. Wow. So that's why it's Anthony and son. Yes. You know, like we have a little inside joke, uh, you know, okay. it should be Anthony and family. <laughs> yeah. Anthony yeah, yeah. and the Brady Bunch. <laughs> yeah, you know? true, true. But you were just the first one. I was the first one. Yeah. So how, how was that? I guess work, like seeing your pops put that together and work, working for him at that young age. I mean, yeah, man, I just like all my memories. He was always working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he missed a lot of, uh, after school stuff, you know, all that shit. But he hustled his ass off. You, know? you understood why he was yeah, doing yeah. it. Was that like, I don't know, like how was, what kind of things did you learn at that young age from like being around that? Because I don't think a lot of people are, are around that kind of, let's say work ethic or even environment at that age, you know? Yeah. So how was that for you? Like, what do you did? What did you take from that? I mean, yo, I started hustling at a young age, you know, like I was the first friend in the group to have a CD burner. Yeah. So I remember just selling CDs, $3 if you're a friend, $5. Like, <laughs> yeah. I had the teachers in my school, like give me a list 
of CDs. Come yeah. on. Back with like Kaza, LimeWire, you know, yep. like that shit. Yep. Yeah, LimeWire yeah, yeah. days. Bro, I was going crazy. Yeah. Okay, so I was like fucking hustling. up computers every three months. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of what kind of kid were you? Like, what, what, what were, were you, you a, a troublemaker? troublemaker? Yeah, I was just like the chubby class clown, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. The red face, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I guess seeing like, what your dad was doing with the with the shop and everything like that, like was that something that you knew you wanted to be a part of? Yeah, man. I started at a young age, like, yo, I'm gonna be making sandwich. I'm gonna make the best sandwiches in New York. Like as a young kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, me and my dad always butt heads, and uh, kind of like when I was 18, I I made my first menu when I was 15, and I worked part time till I was like 18. Okay. Then um, next door we have that liquor store. Okay. So my mom got fired from her job in the city. She got like a little pension. So with that money, we like opened a liquor store. And when I saw my opportunity to leave my dad's store, I ran. Okay. Because wow. we're always like button heads. Yeah, yeah. So then I ran like the liquor store for like two years while doing a club promoting. Okay. okay. And I didn't really work at the shop at that time. Um, but how, how do you get into the club promoting? I'm curious. Um, everyone's, so everyone's got a crazy story. Usually, shout out so. to my boy Angelo. Like... We went out. He was like one of the first guys to bring me out to these like 18 and over clubs. Okay. okay. And um, it was in Astoria and I went to high school. You guys ever been in Astoria? No. No. Nah. So it's like a part of like Queens that like has a lot of Italians, a lot of Greeks, a lot so, of Albanians. Okay. It's like where all the locals are from, you know? Okay. So we went to this spot. I was 18 over in Astoria. And that one night, like I saw a bunch of people I knew in the club. And then my friend the next day, like he's mad dramatic. This, guy, this kid like <laughs> baptized my son. Probably like my best friend. Like, if I get a flat tire, I'm calling him, you know? But yeah. The next day he calls me. He's like, why yo? Come to my house. I got to talk to you. <laughs> you know, he lived like 10 years in Italy. He grew up here, went to Italy, and came back. Okay. okay. So, like, he's like very, like, zip. Yeah. So, he, he calls me. He's like, yo, come by, whatever. And he told me, I was like, why yo? You got to promote. I'm telling you, whatever. So, I was like, eh. Then he introduced me to a kid. I was a promoter. And I started. And I was like... You Basically, it. yeah, whatever I made promoting was like my pocket money. Mm-hmm. Then my whole paycheck would go into buying bottles. Nice. Yeah. And I was doing that for like a long time. And then I started doing like my own events at these little bars. And then yeah. I got, became partners with a couple of friends that were still friends. Sick. And we did like some crazy parties. Like we booked Lloyd Banks, French Montana, Jeez. camera, like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like all the, those guys, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it taught me like a lot of about marketing and shit you know for sure yeah. and networking that's yeah. where you like networking, meet everybody all that. and that's got, the thing yeah. when we always say about nightlife is like getting lost like it's so easy to get lost in the sauce bro yeah. it's so easy to get stuck in that lifestyle like we know guys that are still promoting yeah. you know 35 40 45 years old i'm like bro you can't like this anymore <laughs> like you probably just yeah. don't feel like you have any other options well, you guys, at you that guys point, sucked right? into it right and i think that you have to have some sort of other plan as to why you're doing it, you know? So a lot, you of, thinking, a lot of like, people, obviously, like, they're like, oh, okay, I'm a promoter, then I'm going to be I will a, give credit, though, to some people, like, my my boy George K, he fucking kills it. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. you guys heard of, um, oh, I can't remember that name. Of that, no, the other spot, the, where we saw quickly that night, all the rappers go. Say Less. You heard of Say no, Less? No, no. That's like, a club name. Bro, everybody goes there. It's yeah. like a okay. Asian fusion spot, okay. whatever, but like, so like, Con- Kanye went there when uh, before Donda came out. It was like viral. Oh, okay. With yeah. Megan, what not Megan Fox? What's that other girl? Oh, the, with the no uh, eyebrows. Uh, oh, Julia oh, Fox. Julia Fox. <laughs> yeah. No eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, that's literally what she is. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just but no like, eyebrows. You know, the spot went viral a bunch okay. of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everybody goes there. Yeah. Like after Nets Knicks game, that's you yeah. see the whole team there. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's, it's that spot. So when you when you got into the nightlife, I guess did you? Because a lot of people do think this. They're like, okay, you know what, like. I fucking love this industry. Maybe I'm going to open up an, a club myself. Did you ever think about that? So I always had a dream of like opening like a pub kind of situation. Okay. Yeah. So basically the, the way I started working with my pops again was he got this spot in Queens, which is like 20 minutes from our shop. Okay. It's like a very residential area. Okay. And it was like a square, like a, a triangle in the road. Okay. Like a fork in the road. Okay. Like yeah, you yeah, can yeah. make the right and it's like this. Okay. So he's like, oh, I open this. Like we're going to put a cafe here. And then, like, his partners backed out, and I was like, yo, let's put a panini shop here, another one. And that's when I added, like, all these new sandwiches and did it my way. Yeah. Mm. And, like, that shit blew up, like, for the time. Yeah. We made, that's where I started making a Nutella shake and, like, all some okay. of our best selling sandwiches. Under the now. same brand. Under the same brand, but I didn't, like, really update his menu. I just did mine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, like, prove a point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he would, like, call me, like, what are you doing? We don't have the same sandwich. So, so this was a second shop, not the one we went to. No, no, it was a second shop. Okay. That we, we ended up closing it down. Okay. But 
I treated that place like a club. Okay. You know, like all the popular kids. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. what we used to do, like when we used to do these nightlife events, is like we would get kids from different neighborhoods. Like, all right, we need a kid from the Bronx. We need yeah. a kid from a store. We need a kid from Bayside. So what I would do back in the day, fucking, yeah. you go like on Facebook and like you'd look up a school and you could see like who went there. Sounds creepy as hell now if you were to do of it. Of course, yeah. of course. No, but like, that's a promoter. That's, that's a, a promoter, promoter thing doing to do. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. It's like that's what we were doing. And you would message people like, "Yo, you want to make some extra money?" Mm -hmm. Sometimes you promise a girl she'd be a bartender. She ends up being a promoter. You know? <laughs> there you go. Like, and you just get 50, 60 sub promoters. Yeah. It's like a Ponzi yeah. scheme. That's what. That's <laughs> yeah. That's what you do though. That's how you. Yeah. That's how you got to do it. We were doing the same thing. So you were so, doing this for a put for a panino. Yeah. So shop like, what I did. One of the main things I did was like some of the most popular kids I knew in that area. I named sandwiches after them. Oh, okay. so smart. Right. Okay. Shit like that. You know. But where are you getting the, this creative fucking? This juice from and what year? Papania, and what year is that? Uh, probably like 2002, 2003. Okay, yeah, that's early, bro. No, 2012. What the fuck am I saying? Yeah, I was, yeah, gonna say. I was 12 say. years old, 2002. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say this guy's snapping at 12. Yeah, 2012. <laughs> Damn, because that's like that's like before like I feel like anybody was really doing shit like that. Yeah, fucking like before social media was big. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, like Instagram wasn't as big. So you were doing this all off the off the dome, like yeah, you're yeah. coming up with all this on your own. Yeah, because it's easy to copy people. You see what people are doing and shit. Social media, you're like, yeah, we just do our own version of that. Yeah, you're coming up with this on your own, eh? Yeah. So you had the second place now, and For you're like promoting, two years and you're promoting, promoting at the same time, and still the liquor store too. Holy. Yeah. So you're grinding the, it out. The liquor store was crazy. We, I mean, two years after the liquor store is when I opened out the shop. Yeah. But um. In the beginning of the liquor store, I was selling a lot of liquor to like these club owners okay. because they don't have to pay taxes if they get it from me. You know what I mean? Okay. So I really got a chance to fill up my store. You know what I mean? Because mm. I'll just flip inventory, yep. make a little percentage. And with the liquor, a lot of people don't know, but if you buy 25 cases, the price comes down like five, six dollars a bottle. From like on, the wholesaler or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh shit! You could be more. See, Toronto, Canada is so di like Ontario. Toronto is so different because we have one store. It's like a fucking monopoly. It's called LCBO. Well, the yeah. government you can't runs. just. The yeah, the government runs, runs it. So, so over here, if only one person can have one liquor license. Like you can only do one each. Yeah. So yeah. Like, let's say you want to open a liquor store, or bar. Yeah. You only get one. Oh. But what like a lot of people do is like in this room. Okay, you, you, you. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like there's a famous story. This guy. Uh, Around the corner from the shop, this Polish guy, he hit the lotto and he just bought a bunch of booze. Like, that's the story. He started a liquor store and then he bought one for his brother, one for his uncle, you know? Okay. Just put yeah. it on different four, names. Four liquor stores and he has a warehouse with all this liquor. Because now instead of buying 25 cases, he's buying 200. Yeah. Sure. So he's getting it at the bottom, you know? Okay. Yeah. And then he's like selling it to himself, you know? Yeah. So, how do, like, so here, if I have like my own brand, I could just come to you as an owner and say, can you sell my product? Is that um, how it works? No, it's actually like distributors. Okay, so I have to go to distributors and they come to yeah, you. Yeah, the you gotta get a distributor to hold your your product. Okay. 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 There's two big ones. Yeah. One's like Empire, and one's called. And they Southern. just run it all. Yeah, so like Empire got like Grey Goose, uh, Ciroc, whatever. Ciroc, yeah. and another one got like Casamigos, Patron. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like half and half. And they go by yeah. Did you yeah. ever think of? Uh, <laughs> like, I mean, being around that. Did you ever think of starting your own liquor? Was that ever something? Like, cause not, you you were like you got the creative juices going this whole time. So not liquor, but I'm looking to start something else soon. The boys are back in NYC. We're in Soho right now. We got a bunch of episodes planned, a lot of content planned. But before we get into all the content, we gotta shout out Casania at my Casania on Instagram. Luxury property rentals. All right, they hooked us up. You gotta see this place. It's a multi-million dollar condo, four bedrooms, three baths, twenty foot ceilings throughout the whole place. All right, the boys had a good time. All the guests that came by loved it. So let's check it out. Well, we got the boys here. Guys, look at this spot, bro. Look at this fucking spot. Casamia also has locations in Miami and LA. I know it does. This place does suit me, bro. All right? So, follow Casania at my Casania on Instagram, all right? Um, hit them up if you need any sort of luxury properties for any of your travels. Um, they're super accommodating, super welcoming, and they have the best hospitality. All right, check them out um, and enjoy all the content that we did this week. All right, out, we out. 
Some vino? Sounds some similar vino. like Wingo's does. Let's get yeah. some vino going, vino bro. Vino fire. That'd be yeah. sick. You know? You could do that easy, bro. You do that in the garage, bro. <laughs> a little fucking Sambuca action. There oh, you go. See? You're going to get people dead. Oh, they're going to be having up. seizures everywhere. <laughs> Sambuca sucks, no? <laughs> oh, fuck, bro. It's I mean, a tough one, bro. One shot's whatever, but like when you start oh. going crazy, like... I mean, yeah. Back we, in those club days, we used to like pregame with Sambuca sometimes. Bro, I would, whatever's in the cantina. Do you know what a cantina is? You guys call it a cantina here, no? Some people do, but not, like a I mean, cold we don't really have can cantinas like that. We have a ubashaman, you know. Ubashaman. <laughs> <laughs> cantina, cantina. I feel like. What happened? That's a, they it's made like it an up. Italian and Canadian thing. Yeah, like, I mean, they might have made you it up. You don't see cantinas here. No. Yeah, no, that, that, that's like a that's like a, a staple for like an Italian household in Toronto. Yeah, but it, like that's where your dry sausage and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't do that stuff here. Maybe no? with the like some people in like the suburbs have. A garage or you know, something? You never made like sausages or yeah, vino? Yeah, we yeah, do, yeah. but Prosciutto. like we put like, we make like 15 and hang up in my nonna's <laughs> kitchen. You know? Yeah, that's crazy. Like we don't have the space. Art. Like it's an true, art piece. True, if you're or in the, the basement, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. Okay, no. so so we're at, we're, you have the liquor store, you have the second store you're promoting. Mm -hmm. And at that point, what are like because you have a lot of things going on, what are you, what are you, what's going on in your head? What are you like, okay, so what I realized gonna pick is my like battles? that shop, I was working like 10 hours a day, seven days a week for two years. Yeah. At the end of the week, Bro, like, just paying everybody. Mm -hmm. Little peanuts left. Yeah. yeah. And, like, my dad shop is booming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, these sandwiches I'm making over there, I'm like, bah, I sold 10 today. He's like, 10, I sold 60. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Wow. We see it with our own eyes, bro. And then, like, up. my dad at the time, he was crazy, bro. He would, like, he was just on Grubhub, like, the ordering app, whatever. Yeah. And, like, he would send out guys that are working for the deliveries. And over there, I was like, I had a schedule, like two delivery guys at a time, whatever. Yeah. So I was seeing like the way he was running it. And I was like, yo, <laughs> we're hustling backwards right now. Like we're killing ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, I should just focus in, this, focus in this neighborhood that has like all these young people with money, you know? Yeah. Like people come by me and like complain, like, yo, it's too much money. Like with $12, I could feed my whole family by... A pound of turkey, a pound of cheese, yeah. a loaf of white bread, you know? Yeah. I make eight sandwiches. For sure. So it's like that kind of area. Okay. Meanwhile, okay. over here, it's like Grubhub every night. Who cares? Yeah, your dad's crushing yeah, it. Yeah, killing it. I was going to say, like, what was your what was your pops doing in marketing-wise before you got involved? We had, like, a, a joint Instagram that I was doing, you okay, know? Okay, cool. Yeah, nothing none, crazy. You know, our shop was there so long that the main customers were, like, firemen, police officers, like, wow. working yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Construction yeah. workers, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people that got to eat lunch every day. Okay. And then people that live there that are just regulars. Yeah, in the area. You know? And th there's not really, I, don't, I mean, I don't really know the area, but did you have any, like, competitors around there doing the So paninis? a big thing we did was uh, there was a competitor, like, three blocks away. Okay, kind of close. Really, like, this was before, this is way before that I'm really involved. This okay. was really when I was, like, 15, 16. Okay. So, like, seven years earlier. This famous place goes out of business, and my dad hires like their three best guys. Oh there wow! You go. Sour so move. That was really when we like really Took went from a, like a deli, gro like a grocery store to like the panini shop. Yeah. Okay. So you it know? wasn't always like it wasn't always like nah. paninis was like the main thing. Nah, it was always like we would sell a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, and then like oh, wow. whatever oh, okay. was going bad, we would make hot food. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, which is a like maybe the zucchini's going bad. You make pasta with zucchini, you know? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Shit like that. You know? Also, it okay. transformed it into the panini <clears throat> shop. Yeah. Like, we would make sandwiches, simple shit though. Yeah. But like, I made the first menu when I was 15. Okay. Crazy. You know, like bo a boar's head menu, like you tell them like four or five sandwiches. That's it. Yes, yeah. yes. You know what I mean? What, what, yeah, like, yeah. what were the things on this menu? You remember anything on the menu? Well, the one crazy one was the Godfather. We still have it still now. Still have it, yeah. We switched like from lettuce to arugula now. Okay. It was pretty much the same sandwich. You guys got you, a lot of sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, we have too many. Yeah. No, I think it's good, bro. But you have to have all the ingredients. That's yeah, exactly. Thing. But yeah. You know? That's something we really, we really appreciated because we opened the restaurant during the pandemic, mm -hmm. a piadineria. So oh, we did piadinas. piadinas. Yeah. I love there piadinas. was nothing in Toronto, bro. No, you couldn't find one piadina in Toronto. So we're like, fuck it, let's do it. We found a, plot, a spot with um, a liquor license too, grabbed it. And, uh, bro, we learned really quickly <laughs> about yeah. how, how how quickly we have to go through the food before it goes back. Yeah, yeah. Bufala, all these... all these. Especially the bufala, if it's wow. coming from there. Bro. Yeah, good luck. You have to sell it today. I hate I hate bufala from, like, Italy here. You know, yeah. when I'm there, I want to eat it every day. Yeah. But then, like, the other day, my dad got it from my mom's town. This guy imported it. 
By the time I got here, it's already no, two weeks old. It doesn't no. taste I'm the like, same. It tastes rotten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then see Bobby and Medigan, they're like, oh, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're like, I can't eat it like that. You know? They rather... haven't tried the real one yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, okay. So, I guess well, what I was trying to say, even in terms of the food inventory too, like, was that ever an issue for you guys? Like having that many ingredients on the menu? Well, if sun's going bad, like we do a special or make a hot food play with okay. it. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. But a lot of cold cuts we got rid of for that reason, you know? True. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys uh, know Olive Loaf. You guys probably don't see that shit. No. What is Olive that? Loaf? Like, the, the bread with the olives it's, in no, it? Olive Loaf is like, uh, you look, it's like bologna with oh. olives in it. It's disgusting. Oh, okay. oh I've never okay. seen that. Okay. And then there's like liverwurst. You know liverwurst? I've, I think I've heard that. No, like, no. It doesn't sound like something I I'm like going to be a fan of. Like, there's a lot of things like that that we don't carry anymore that okay. back that's in the day used to be a big thing. As long as you got yeah, yeah, the yeah. sopresad, Bello, that's all yeah. you need. No. <laughs> so, okay, so while you're in nightlife, I want to know how you were even leveraging nightlife to help the shop. Because people from, that aren't from Williamsburg never knew my shop. Okay. Like the kids from Queens and, yeah. you know, Howard Beach, uh, other areas outside of Williamsburg. Okay. Because like my neighborhood, a lot of people didn't know. Like when I went to school in high school, I went to high school in Astoria where okay. I was promoting. And people were like, where's Williamsburg? Like they would say Greenpoint, the kind of the neighborhood over. Okay. You know? Okay. So Williamsburg, nobody knew that shit. Wow. It's so fucking popular now. now like that's it's, like the spot. Now it's like the spot to get. So I guess because of the nightlife, you were connecting with people on, on socials and yeah. then they ended up seeing. But they're like, I'm, oh, wait, you have a sandwich shop? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and then. That's when I was like, yo, I'll do a sandwich shop because I know so many people in that area yeah. from promoting now, yeah. you know? So at what point do you call Papa back and say, I'm coming back to you and, and well, just for you? Well, basically, I sat down with him. I was like, you know, we're going crazy. Let's put all eggs in one basket. He was like, down. He's like, yeah, let's do it. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So then, like, I was doing my shit there. And uh, I'll never forget, we had, like, five, 6,000 followers on Instagram. Nothing crazy. Yeah. So, like... um. Me, I would like message all these food influencers all the time. Like, yo, come by, you know, sandwich on me. And then yep. like, I started working with people that would uh, take pictures of the sandwiches for me. And then yep. I hired a social media person. And then with them, they have like the biggest following in New York as the foodies. And okay. I like made them invite 40 foodies at one time. Yep. And we made like these party heroes. And I went from like 7,000 to 14,000 followers in a half hour, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're at 160 yeah, yeah, yeah. K now. Yeah. 160,000 yeah, yeah. now. But now it's hard to grow. Of course, it Instagram is, yeah. just made it. It's, it's like that now. Yeah, but yeah. even with the food bloggers, I think that's genius. We did the same thing at Piedina. We did one a day. Just fucking pump them in. Yeah, yeah. And, but we noticed too, like a lot of older school owners mm -hmm. would look at us be like, you're giving them free food for what? For a picture? They yeah, didn't they really understand, understand it. So did you ever, my dad is. Did you, I was going to say, yeah. did you ever, ever have that battle with your pops? With, where it's time. like, you're going to give them free food for what? A fucking picture? Yeah. And sometimes I'll give them three, <laughs> like, because I want three pictures. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. How's it possible you can eat three sandwiches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, nah, she's probably not going to eat all three, but I'm going to get three pictures. But nice. when, you, when you do the math and you're, and you're giving away a $10 sandwich for a fucking post from one of these people, it's, it's actually you're getting the deal. Yeah, well, now people would probably look at it like that. Yeah. But now these sandwich uh, or these uh, content creators... Yeah. They'd be like, what's the budget? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know Facts. what I mean? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I never pay like no. anybody except the people that run my shit. But even, yeah. you, you know what you do at the end of the day, if you have a hundred micro bloggers, yeah. food bloggers, the big ones are going to say, fuck, I can't miss out now. They're going to hit yeah, yeah. you up. That's You've what probably happens. seen that. Not as much anymore. Of course. In the beginning, it was. Because mm -hmm. they would like want the certain kind of content, you know? Yeah. But when, when, when does it take, when does it get to the point where it's like, okay, the brand is massive now. Like, how do we go beyond... Paninos because then you see the merch come out, then you guys obviously start the other brand. So Growing like, up we've Italian. Been, we've been focusing on the merch a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been seeing that. And it's doing good. Like that's the extra thing, you know? Yeah. Because like for us, I think eventually I would want to open another one, but it's gotta be the right situation. For sure. Like I don't want to open one in Manhattan. Cause like yeah. I want to own the building it's in. You know you, what I mean? You need, you need one in you need one in Miami, bro. That's let's go. Something like I have something in the works, hopefully, you know. Okay. Give us a call, bro. Bro. Yeah. Bro, but, uh, dude. Miami got nothing like me. Nothing, no, bro. no, nothing. We, we always I was telling say Grumman this. when I saw him yeah. uh last time I was there, like Yeah. Yeah. It's such a it's such it, a hole no. in the market right now. But there's also like those guys won't even do something like that anyways. Yeah. Well, they won't it even needs do it. to be authentic though. That's the thing. It doesn't hit the same if it's not authentic. You guys could bring that. Yeah. Exactly. Because like I had sandwiches there, bro, they suck. Yeah. No, it's like, not the if it's pre sliced. 
garbage, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's gross. It's gross. The Cuban sandwiches are good. Oh, those are dope. Yeah, those but that's because that's, that, that's who's there, right? Those yeah. people are there. Right? But just one panino, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all you need, bro. That's um, all you fucking so when need. does when do you start the page uh, growing up Italian? So my sister and cousin started it and were running it for two years. Oh, this was like already happening. This was like what's the time? Two thousand. I'll say two thousand sixteen. Okay. Which is so, so my shot was. The Masper shot was closed. Okay. okay. And then you went back to... We went back there, focusing okay. on that. Beautiful. And then like a lot of famous people started coming to the shop, you Sick. know? And, and and I guess that idea, that growing up Italian page, what was the what was the vision behind that? So my cousin and sister started, we had like a big group uh, big group chat. Okay. And uh, we would like send our own funny shit. Yeah. Mm. And then like my sister really is the one that I think made the name. And then my cousin Rocco and her like, like let's do it together. And they just like started and they were anonymous for two years. Okay. Then they're like, oh, we should do a podcast. And that's when they asked me to like help them with the podcast. Okay. Because the audience grew from the, the page. And then you're like, fuck, if we just started. We a had like 16,000 followers or something like, like very small. Two amount. years into it. Yeah. 16,000. That's still yeah. pretty good, man. For just memes. And just memes saying, and but, shit. But even 2016, like that's a, that's pretty early to start thinking about a meme page. Like yeah. not Facts. many people were doing that. Yeah. In they were early. They got a good name. Oh, yeah. Like, bro, the Growing name is crazy. It's clean, you know? Yep. Crazy. Like, crazy people name. got like specific, uh, you know. Oh, well, we got T. Like, Italians back home, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Toronto. Toronto. They don't, we don't like each other, I think. No? No. Why not? Uh -huh. Like their times, but. Was it? Yeah. Like, well, I don't well you guys have like competitive. Like, oh, we stole, they stole our meme, you know? Stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, everyone's stealing each other's memes yeah, at the end exactly. of the day anyways. But you know, the time people, nobody likes anybody. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. It's such a weird, it's such a weird thing, bro. I don't know why it's like that. Like there's nobody in our, my industry that I like. <laughs> For real, eh? Except like, you know, individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the groups is like, we all hate each other. I don't get I it. I know. We got, you got, we got to link you guys up though. You guys have a lot of fucking Italian content creators here. Yeah. Like little Mo. That's why that's why uh we're the best. <laughs> hold on, but what do you mean oh, the best though? The best what? Best I mean, best why? <laughs> we got the biggest like reach, you know? Okay. And it's You're saying easy. being in New York. Bigger I mean, we're the, <laughs> as far as Italian Americans, Italian Canadians, we're the biggest. Besides Italy. Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, I mean you have 30 that's, million people in New York, <laughs> yeah. so fuck, I hope so, bro. How many, Italian, Italian, you know, how many Italians are here? So, how many you know, Italians are in New York, you think? Uh, I think there was like a study. That, large. There's got to be large. Dean, can you like pull three, that up for maybe, us? I don't know. I don't know, bro. We're going to pull that. We're, we're going to get a stop going. Go we're gonna I don't get want to say going. a number that's untrue. <laughs> well, okay. But, bro, this is the thing. Okay, what's the we're thing, We're in a bro? city that's in the center of the world. Okay. Somebody's always got to come here. Yeah, true. That's true. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, let's say Toronto. I don't even want to go there, bro. bro it's true. It's you, true. You know, like, I tell, if I tell Sweda right now, like, why, well, yo, let's go to Toronto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. like, oh, we're like, going to go see freezing Bernadette over there, bro. No, thank you. Like, yeah, go yeah, to yeah, Miami. Yeah. No, it's true. You know true. what I mean? Fine, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So I'll that's why that. for us, we got the advantage because, like, guys like Little Mo, all these content creators, Yeah. I could do a in person yeah, podcast i could do stuff with them in person connect them with this guy connect them with that guy you know like yeah my networking skills like i provide value to people of course but in that industry like you guys work a lot like together all the time you guys all are creating time, content yeah. that's what i'm saying so i know you're saying some guys in the industry you don't fuck with but at the same yeah. time like no i mean like, like individual people I, I pretty much get along with everybody okay okay but just like people like that yeah this okay. Okay. They're slime balls, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, so the, the podcast starts, and then you're automatically one of the hosts? That's yeah, all. so we were doing just audio for like a year. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Maybe a little less. Like, bro, the first one I did, we didn't even know what we were doing. Like, we just bought a random <laughs> camera, clapping like yep. you did, you know? Yeah, like, that's how we do it. Bro, like, my cousin was YouTubing uh, how to edit the audio. It was a nightmare. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. we literally started from... The bottom. Yeah. Okay. Like if you look on our YouTube, go all the way to, you'll see podcasts with like 200 views. Yeah. For sure. You got to start somewhere, bro. Yeah, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. And I, even we were talking about it, they're like, yeah, should I delete those? And he's like, nah, bro. Hell it's no. part of the journey, yeah, bro. It's part of the journey. We leave ours up too. And it's the same thing, bro. But, but uh, what, uh, 60 views, 80 views. What eventually views. was happening was that my cousin was a teacher at the time. My sister's like, eh. I was the one that was ended up doing them the most, you know? Okay, like, okay. This guy's not free, but he's free at this time. All right, I'll do it by myself. Yeah. Mm. Another one. All right, I'll do it by myself. You and you didn't, you didn't even like, I mean, like, you never podcast before, did anything nope. like that. You just fucking went in. Yeah, just cool. went in. So then uh, 
we had like these wireless mics, like without the yeah yeah you know the now we have similar thing like a soundboard okay but we would have like individual chips yeah and then we would try to put it on one uh it's oh, a nightmare always echoes work. always that yeah 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 so then we like invested like got better stuff yeah got a 4k camera then another 4k camera yeah so now we're working with two ca two angles beautiful yeah. you know, eventually we want to do three like you guys yeah but uh how many episodes know? deep are you guys uh, 257, 258. Wow. What year did you guys start the pod? 217, 2017. Okay, okay. It's actually going to be like four or five years. I forget. Damn. That's early. Five though. years. And yeah. this Easter. And when so did it, when did it like really start taking off though? Like when did you, when did you start seeing like views in the tens of thousands and you're like, okay, like we're onto something here. Um, I think when we, um, started working with my boy Lopic here. Okay. Um, because what happens is when you hire somebody and put a budget together, like it takes a little weight off your, off shoulder. your shoulders. Yeah. Like if you yep. have somebody do what you're like, let's say work on the pod and they do it much better than we're doing it. Yeah. Cause we're just learning, yep. you know, and then like Rocco could fo focus on something else. Yep. I could focus on something else. Yeah, and we work on the next one. Yeah, instead of editing that pod for three days, <laughs> you know, like stopping everything <laughs> yep. to do this. Yep. You know, like sometimes you gotta know when to spend money and spend it smart. You know. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes of a podcast. We were talking about this earlier today too, and it's just like it no seems idea. easy. Like you just sit down, no. and start fucking talking, but bro, there's so much work that goes into it. So for you to say 250 episodes, bro, that's fucking impressive. How many yeah. episodes you guys got? Probably about 150, 160. We just and we just passed 150. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And you do one a week. One a week. We publish. There was a time where we were we were pu pushing two a week just because we saw it was working on YouTube, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But then we're like, bro, we cannot it's keep too this much. up. We can't, yeah. bro. We can't. Well, you, then, then you literally can't focus on anything else. It's like you just got to be podcasting full yeah, time. Yeah. And even then. which is good though. Like some people could do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, if, if, you, if you're making enough money, sure. And and that, and that was really my next question for you was like, um, even now, like for you guys, is the podcast you look at it as a. Uh, like a revenue thing or like in making money, like its own business? We're, or, we're starting to. Okay. I was going to say, or is it like for a lot of, for, I know for a lot of people, it's just like, it's to supplement the other shit that you do. Other brands that they I have. I mean, yeah. so I'll be honest, like if it wasn't for the pod, I want to meet a lot of people. There you go. Like Sveta's yeah. one of them. Yeah. Huge. Because like, I think we had like 60, 65,000 followers and I just DM'd him. Yeah. Wow. It's like, yo, your album Famosa just came out. Let's promote it to our Italian fan base. He just responded, let's do it. You it's know? a really good, that's a really good message. Bro. Though. Yeah. And that's like a good now, message. Now, like, I'm, I feel like, okay, I'm friends with Italy, like yeah. Italy's Drake. It's true. You, know you are. No, no, he, you are. He, yeah. He's Italy's Drake, I would so, say. So, you know, fucking that, for me, he changed every day. What? That was probably the breaking point. And we just did a podcast on Zoom. That was the first time you did yeah. it, right? It was like on Zoom. Yeah. And like, what episode I was hate that? Zoom podcasts. No, we don't do those at all. Yeah, but sometimes you got to get the job done. You yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, bro, fuck. Like, you know, back in those days with this Malatia, you know, like, <laughs> you got to do it. I don't even like saying the fucking word. No, don't even fucking say we're going to get banned off okay, YouTube. Exactly, you know, um, this is going to get no views. What, what episode were you around when you got Sveta the first time? <sighs> I don't know. I just want to prove to people out there that it takes time maybe to land 70? these guests. Yeah, like bro, you had to go like seventy that? guests before seventy episodes before so landing. Maybe maybe a little less or more. And like then that. before that, let's let's say it was more now. Like it was more, eh? One, yeah, like ninety. I was say seventy is impressive, bro. Nah, you over think, yeah. for well, sure. That goes to show, right? Like that's how that's how much work it takes and the consistency behind it. People yeah. think they're gonna start a podcast on their third episode. Everyone's gonna be yeah, down yeah, to yeah. come on. Right? Well, people like that make me laugh. But you yeah. got to put in the work, dude. You got to put in. <laughs> and I guess you just started the podcast with no end goal either, right? You're just like, yeah. this is something I want to do. Yeah. That's now, now, like, where we are today is I feel almost like I got a duty. Like, I got to do this shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you probably yeah. notice how much it's other than meeting new people every time you do one. Well, that too, because we always say it too. Like, bro, you sit down with someone even that you just met, let's say. And you walk away from the podcast like your fucking best friend, yeah, like you've yeah. known each other yeah, from time. Boys. It's crazy, yeah. bro. Because it's an intimate convo, right? Yeah. yeah. And and what were you doing before the Sveta episode happened? Like, what kind of guests were you getting? A bunch on? of scoongeels. <laughs> <laughs> One worse than the other. <laughs> no, no, like, I'm only joking, but you know. Um, like, what, was, I, what was the goal? I wasn't getting a lot of celebrities. Like, yeah, yeah. Once I got him, <laughs> Yo, bro, every me, bro. every every big artist in Italy followed me after Sveta of fucked with me. Well, did, that's did their you Drake. Ever, okay, but did yeah. you ever think when you branded it too, like growing up Italian, did you ever think like, fuck, now we can only do Italian guests? Like now I can't get out of that niche? Now it's crazy. If I try to break out of it a little bit, like we did a funny episode last week where 
this guy's like 25% Italian and <laughs> like, bro, this shit's all staged. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm going to bring my big guy, Joe, who's going to like, I watched looks, that. that was amazing, yeah. bro. They so were like, going back bro, and forth. To me, that's the funniest shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but some people are like, he's not even Italian and you're bringing him on. <laughs> yeah. But like, who cares? You know, I, I, know. I don't even want to do Italian shit anymore. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, fuck, you've been doing it for 250 episodes. Yeah, right? I don't even know if there's any Italians left to have on yeah, your I show. Yeah, I hate Italians now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about prosciutto anymore. <laughs> yo, but you guys do the, you guys do the, uh, the perfectly overrated, yeah, yeah. underrated, perfectly rated. When did that start? Because I uh, love that. It's fucking My unreal. cousin Rocco just started doing that on one episode, and then a couple of those clips went crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But TikTok's been a big game changer for us. Of course. Of course. Like, once, like, you know, I feel like we had, like, 200, 250,000 on Instagram, and then when things go viral on TikTok, you'll get, like, 10,000 in yep. bunches. Yep. Yep. Yes. You know, people, like, that's how you get discovered the most. Of you course. Know? Yeah. What's what? What do you think's been the hardest thing for you uh, in terms of the podcasting side of things? Like, what what's been the biggest challenge? Biggest challenge: try not to get canceled. Or say, <laughs> no, say we don't even try anymore. <laughs> We're just yeah. like, cancel us, bro. Fuck it. No, no you know what I noticed about Canadians? I think we try. Hold on, we I actually say, tried to get we canceled were actually for a long time. Trying to get canceled yeah. at one point. Really? Like, we tried mm -hmm. our hardest. To go viral? Yeah. No, just because like <laughs> just because like Canada was in such. Well, well, I mean, kind of, but like Canada was just in such a shit place. Like, obviously, 2020 yeah, and, and you not guys even to sucked go there. for that shit, bro. Bro, Rude. do you understand? Like, Why do you think we, we were fucking went to Miami running. We were saying shit that Florida. like we were saying shit that like we were like, damn, the fucking government might come after us. Like, we were going crazy, bro. We were saying shit like when it started. Like, we didn't give no fucks. Like we, our family yeah. messaging us, like, bro, what the fuck like, are we, you we, we saying, knew, we knew guys? Yeah. <laughs> like, we didn't give a fuck. So we tried to get canceled in a way, yeah. but so do do you find it hard to kind of like find that balance of like, fuck, I don't want to get like. Well, you also live Canceled in a city that's, like, super fucking liberal, yeah. liberal as fuck. Yeah, like you walk out, true. 13 people, like, the, the first 13 people you see, I'd say, like, 10 of them have purple hair, yeah, yeah. triple mask. <laughs> Here we go. You know what I mean? Sorry, we're getting I gotta, right I into say it. it. Listen, <laughs> I've been waiting I, for the chance we're to going see with this. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, uh, <laughs> like... You know what I mean, yeah, though? Like, I just, you know what I'm I just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but... Like sometimes people get offended for the dumbest shit. Bro, everyone's gonna, someone's gonna get offended no matter what you say. You could say yeah. anything, even you know like that. something, something good, and someone's gonna find a way to be like, "This guy's this." this but guy's you guys that. don't get no hate online, anyways. What the no, fuck? we got a lot of hate. Yeah, really? On TikTok, for yeah. what? Oh, TikTok, no, everyone gets hate. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok, bro. Is that the, don't count. It, that, that, bro, that's the platform everyone just hates. If you go on our TikTok, people oh, are just buddy. blasting. That's us a play stay. haters club right there. It's yeah, crazy, facts. bro. Exactly. Compared to Instagram, it's like the opposite. It's just straight hate. I feel like, I mean. I feel like you just said this, but I've never commented anything negative in my life. Say like on someone else's Same. shit. Yeah, like yeah let's yeah. say you guys post something that I didn't like. I would never say, you guys suck. Stop doing this. I, yeah. I've never done one comment like that. Yeah. Well, because you because you understand and respect the hustle. They also yeah. say hate never comes from above. It's true. So that's probably why. That's true. You know what I mean? But but you're saying <laughs> you're saying the hardest thing was to not get canceled? Well, I, but I'm, surpri not, but I'm not surprised. Get, like, I mean, I, I was like more saying, you know, some in the beginning, I was more careful of not offending anybody. Now it's like almost, I don't care as long as you're not racist. Like yeah, yeah, of, of course, shit like that. Bro, like that's course. that's a no, no, like you know, yeah, anything like that we yeah. stay away from. But of course, if you're upset about me saying people from Calabria are hard head, like shit like that. that you know? No, there's no way people get pissed at that. But like people, <laughs> like on. I'll say something like, oh, whatever, Sicily sucks. Like Joe, something <laughs> okay, like that. That's gonna people get upset. Of you course, know? <laughs> or like a guest will say like. Uh, Calabria is better than Sicily, you know, yeah. and is, like is, stuff like that. Is everything in terms of like what we see on the podcast genuine, or is it is there a little bit of role playing too, where you guys are exaggerating? More something? recently, I've been doing that the role last, playing, yeah, because yeah. to reach the next level, I feel like I kind of have to. Got to play some sort of character, yeah, a bit. not character, but like I'll tell somebody like, oh, uh, when I talk about this, you know, I thought it would be a good clip. Yeah. If you said this. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? You got to think about the clips yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. all about the clips, bro. Literally today. Yeah. You yeah. know? You need the clips to go. My up. friend, uh, Vincent Giganti, I don't know if you've seen him on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yep. I've seen him. I told him, like, yo, I'm going to say that you copied Little Mo. Yeah. Just walk off. Okay. And he's like, yeah. Just start some drama. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Bro, on YouTube, if you look at the comments, everybody's like, you're so mean to Vincent. <laughs> Why do you bring him on your show and you're mean to him? Yeah, yeah. But bro, that was our best episode in you five years. You need that dialogue happening in the comments, though. That's when it gets fucking popping. That's yeah, when it yeah. gets the viral moment. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, but bro. That's when it's an algorithm. But, but it's it's kind, isn't it kind of shit like that you got to like you have do, to do shit that? like that? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's stupid to me. That's, uh, yeah. fuck. We haven't... Well, we, we've been saying that. Like, fuck. Like, if you, if you find a piece of content that's fucking stupid or... or um, 
not valuable at all. And then you have a you have a piece of content where it's like, fuck, bro, that was hilarious. Or I learned so much from that. You're getting 10 views. That other one's getting 10 million views. Yeah. It's just what the algorithm is pushing. Like we were just in New Orleans and um, he did like a, a recap at a parade. Bro, best content we probably put out visually. Yeah. Yeah. 4,000 views. That's how it yeah, works. Yeah, that's bro. And then the, le the, the one you least expect. <laughs> you say mozzarella, not mozzarella, a million views. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. All right, what do you think I'm going to do? Yeah, 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 it's, yeah true. Exactly. it's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Play, Fuck, you got to play dude. the game, right? Yeah, bro. But but in terms of you guys been doing like, is it one a week for you guys? That we release? Yeah. yeah. But See, sometimes I'll record two, sometimes I'll record three. Yeah. Bank bunch them up. Them up. Yeah. For for us, that was like the biggest game changer was like realizing like, okay, fuck, maybe we got to just start bunching this shit up. That you're, too, that too. When you're trying yeah. to do the whole like film, release that week, outside, like first of all, you got to edit it, edit the clips, get everything prepped, whatever. But then Find you're the like, guest. then you're like, holy fuck, as soon as it goes out, you're like, bro, I need to do another, like <laughs> figure out the next one. Like, but yeah, Jesus moving Christ. with the clips, like having four or five clips ready per episode for yeah, TikToks bro. and... Even your guests, like this one's for you. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, they love that's how, that's how we were getting guests right at the beginning. We're like, bro, we're just gonna make twenty reels for you that you never got before. This was a time where no one was posting the podcast reels. Can, we, then with can the we claim that we were like the first ones? A fuck in, in Toronto, like, bro, like I don't really know anyone else doing we were, it at that point. That's literally what we were doing. We're so like, now okay. everybody's doing now it. everyone's doing it, right? Yes. But but if you you, you could like go back and see we did we that were just shit. going to people like yeah bro, we're gonna give you 10 fuck. we're gonna give you 10 reels you don't even you never even seen these kind of reels before in your life you don't yeah. have anything like this yeah. no one's gonna make you this content ever so we give them all the reels we give them and like bro we were giving them like 10 plus reels just literally clipping anything we could think of that might be good and then let them decide yeah and then when the collab posts are coming out we're like okay bet we got to collab on every fucking post with them right give them pictures whatever and that's like yeah it's pretty much how we were able to like land anybody mm-hmm just being like, all right, cool. We're going to give yeah, you all this content. You have to. You yeah. had to. And you guys got a platform now people want to come on. You got to leverage that, bro. Yeah. Right? But you do too. Yeah. That's, that's how it goes, right? Yeah. Um, that's what I was saying before about like duty because nobody could interview these Italian artists but me right now. It's true. Like, for that American fan base. 100%. Yeah. So they all want to do my show. Like yeah. they all want to come on my show. That's been crazy to see the amount of artists you've been getting. Like you think... Now you got fed and then it was a wrap after that. Yeah. That's what you're saying? Pretty much. Did yeah. you start reaching out or they reached out to you? Both? Both, but mostly them. Yeah. Is it all in-person mm -hmm. stuff though? Like, is it like, yo. Now I won't do a Zoom. Yeah, you, no. it has to it's, be. But it I was like, I'll different. see you when I see you. Yeah. It's different in person, bro. It's yeah. so much different. And the, the clips audience don't hit. The clips no. don't hit, bro. Yeah. No. And you guys only film here in New York. I mean, I, f I filmed you in did Miami. Miami. You did Miami? I'll film anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you know, you guys know this shit's expensive. Of course. You got to rent the Airbnb. You got to yeah. bring a crew. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You got to buy spros. Yo, say you got to buy spros say, for the bros. <laughs> say it again, bro. People do not realize yeah, what bro. goes yeah. into it. Yeah, for real. But like one with like Seta that is going to make a... I'll fly out and do it. You, you know? know, you got to realize what the situation yeah, is. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You got to go to Italy and just do them all, dude. Facts. Do a fucking Italian well, tour. I was going to go to fucking Tenerife, but then we went to New Orleans, but... I was gonna oh, do uh, a, that's a, those I was are gonna two do different. a couple, but I have. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't those even know how, like, how those were the I know, options. but it was like those were the dates. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. I go to this one or this one. Okay, 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 okay. You know, this one I'm working, making money, or this one I gotta spend fucking five, six grand to do the thing. I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah, fair easy enough. decision, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point now, like, what is your what's like your workload or like your role look like for for everything for the shop for like what does your day to day look like? What what role do you play at the shop? And then what role do you play with the podcast? So with the shop, I feel like I answer a lot of emails, okay. like inquiries. Okay. You know, so a couple hours a week, I'm looking at emails for the shop. Whatever inquiries that come in, okay. go through me first. Beautiful. Catering orders, all Sick. that bullshit, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of annoying shit, like order here. Like, how do I order a three-foot sandwich? You know, like <laughs> shit like that. So I do a lot of that. But then even like... um. Uh, influencers bringing them by the shop, yeah, yeah. making sure certain people are wearing my shit. Of course. Um, but like working in the shop, I haven't done it in a while. Yeah. Okay. And I used to do that like five, six days a week. Those are the like main. But now thing. it's like I'll go there, go to the office, or bring yeah, in yeah. influencers, uh, help with payroll, Sick. you know, back end stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And uh, growing up at time, we're just like figuring it, figuring it out as we're doing it. You know. Fair. That's the podcast yeah. game. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the how it goes. Like, We've been doing this like for real, for real, like the last year, for real, like yeah, at the top we could possibly. The be. more you grow, the harder you're gonna go with it. 
Yeah. That's usually how it goes. Did um I mean if you can speak on it, did you did like are you a partner of the shop now or is, is this just something family? It's a family business. Yeah, so you, you don't know? really have to it's... like it pays our bills, you know? Yeah, yeah. And and in terms of like growing up Italians, that brand and obviously the podcast along with it, like I was asking earlier, we kind of got sidetracked a bit. Like now you're taking it as a business, like something that you can actually build, yeah. get some revenue flowing through and whatever. Like yeah. is that the, is that the plan with We it? have some some big stuff on the way. Like okay. biggest of time Americans in the country are on our team. Sick. And uh, you know we're gonna open an office in Little Italy soon, and yes. content's only gonna get better. Oh, dope! Next time you guys come to New York, you could do the hopefully you could do the podcast in my studio. You know, Dude, right? you know we gotta do a panel. We gotta yeah. do a panel with everybody. We'll bring like eight mics, eight like a setup of like eight, and we'll yeah, just, we just sit down. Everybody just blast each seven other. Mics, eight, bro. seven, seven. Yeah, it was crazy. However many we could fit. You could to fit be seven honest. on that day. Yeah. No, we'll we have two, two of them. We have two of them. We have two. So oh, we you have two. We could we can get eight mics going. And we have eight mics. Shit, we got eight disaster. hands. Yeah. His head just exploded. <laughs> Bro, like, we'll, we'll make it happen. Dude. We'll make we it happen. Don't worry. We'll bring so the production. So you put the two together? <clears throat> yeah. So we'll I don't know how them, it works. We'll have we gotta... two of them side by side. Yeah. Two of them side by side. Yeah, Dean, give him the rundown. <laughs> <laughs> See, he just became Italian too. We got, he got a guy. <laughs> we got a guy. No, no, yeah. We have two of them. Two of them. Each one can hold four mics. Have the fucking, the 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 SD cards in there, whatever. And as long as we got cameras to capture everybody. Yeah, we got to make it happen. I would like to do something that's fire. Yeah, but I think, well, the thing is, like you said, you got all the Italian American creators on lock. Like, yeah. sit all those guys in a room. Holy fuck. You might as well bro. fucking do a festival, bro, <laughs> with yeah. all the artists you have. Spro Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Spro Fest, bro. Spro yeah. Fest. That's great. Spro <laughs> <Zalino. laughs> yeah. So, I guess now, like, in, for you in general, and I guess the brands that, that you're building, mm -hmm. what's, what's the ultimate goal? Like, do you want to have multiple. Uh, shops for the paninis do you want to have um, what's what's the goal what's the vision honestly the food stuff to me is, i'm not as interested as in it as anymore okay sure like it's just a lot of work really mm -hmm. you gotta hire a really good team that's this true. shit i know what i could do you know what i'm saying yeah. so i'm like betting on myself you know yeah the growth is endless like right? and uh with my network hopefully the end game is that I could license people's merch and have a place where they could sell it you know yeah okay especially uh having a retail store True. And yeah. the heart of Little Italy is like a something nobody got. True. So these, these artists, they got a home base in New York now. Which is huge for them. Exactly, I, like you know? we spoke off camera, but I feel like a lot of the Italian artists are trying to just Americanize themselves and, yeah. and get into the market here. They see how big it is. They all want America. Yeah. yeah. Of course. And they don't get the views here like that, you know? Yeah, no, they yeah. don't. They don't. They're, it's based in Italy, their views. Like in Toronto, I feel you guys are more on the music. Yeah, than we yeah, are. we are. We are. Like before I interviewed Sved, like nobody really knew him. No, they're not yeah. going to. Now they're, a lot yeah. of people that know me know him. Of course. You know? True. But it's like a slow... It's. I feel like they get stuck in the market in Italy. Like in Europe, in general. Yeah. No, I think like Italian Americans, they, when they hear of Italian music, they think Eros Ramazzotti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think, yeah, yeah. think Andrea Bocelli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neck, yeah. Neck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neck. Crazy, no? That's crazy. You got to get him on. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I had uh, someone reach out to do like do one with Umberto Tozzi. I think wow. they were doing what? a show. Um, yeah. That, that would be would do. fucking crazy. Or Toto Cotunio, you oh. know? Yeah, no Legends. shit. Legends. That, that, those are like what I love to do. Yeah, of course. Legends. Bocelli. Oh. Okay. No, Bocelli, listen, listen, you do Bocelli's Bocelli. Bocelli's a dream one. If you do, I gotta, I'll be the light guy. I'll be the guy that holds the light <laughs> in the fucking back. Just let I'll me hold in the, the mic, room, bro. bro. That's that, crazy. That'd be crazy. Yeah, so yeah, I, so you're insane. so you're all in on 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 the on the brand growing yeah, up. Yeah, times. You're course. all in. Yeah, well, yeah. I think it makes sense. Like obviously, but like he, you said, network wise, but also it's like the internet. So it's like it's just like it's it feels like it's it's internet money. It's like, you also know what I mean? like a pride thing because I know nobody else could do it. You know, true, true. So it's like. Why be like, okay, how many people have successful fucking food spots, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's all sun that brings you joy, you know? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, getting paid to talk isn't that bad, you know? It's not bad. It's not bad not at, at all. all. I could do this. You know? Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, yeah. you're killing that. You know? it's, <laughs> and it's, it's cool. And it's endless. Opportunities are endless, bro. Yeah. You can take, can take you anywhere around the world. Like, there's no, like, you don't got to be in one place at all times, right? Mm -hmm. But you guys are in a mecca, like, of, of entertainment. Like, I mm -hmm. think... For us, the only places we ever travel to do pods realistically is New York, LA, and Miami. That's yeah. it. all you gotta do. There's only and Calabria. Yeah. And Calabria. <laughs> yeah. Pep. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you single? Uh, <laughs> what happened? You can't say. So, uh, <laughs> situation shit. Yeah. yeah. Situation shit. Yeah. Is she okay. Italian? Maybe. Yeah. Come on. 
It would be hard for me not to date an Italian. <laughs> well, I was gonna, but yeah. they don't make them like they used to, though. That's the thing. You gotta look for them, you know. Where are you gonna find? They're not here. There's My no guy. way. There's These old Italian school Italian mingle events. You know, you gotta go to <laughs> Wait, fuck, You gotta go what to what the Catinas, What Italian you know? mingle events? You gotta find them in the Catina. The, 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 <laughs> with the super sad. <laughs> hold know? on, hold on. So, are, do you have to date? It has, she has to be Italian for you. No, but it makes it easier. I think. Does it? Because like, imagine having to hear me always talk about Italian shit. You know, Italian. Yeah, it's true. You know, imagine you're like a Colombian girl, like that'd okay? be a mess. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know? and hear me saying how pasta is better than rice, you know, <laughs> you know, or whatever the situation is. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's easier. But, okay, but let me ask you now. Like, don't you think the girls nowadays it's tough to find one that's good? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so how are you doing? How are you managing it? Luckily, you know, I have kids that are seven. Okay. So they, you know, they keep me busy. Oh yeah. You know? And then the girls, like, for a long time, it's like, it is what it is, you know? Yeah, for sure. Who cares? I got my kids, a boy and a girl already. You have kids? Yeah. I didn't even know that. I have twins. Yeah, I see them in the content, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah They're yeah, seven. Yeah. Wow. So, like, that's really, like, mm -hmm. my my number one shit, you know? Fucking for papa. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm with my kids, <laughs> yeah. I'm with my kids. So, yeah, hold on. So, yeah. so, how did that change everything for you, having the kids? Because, like, I start working really with a schedule, you know? Because yeah. I have them every other weekend, you know, yes. some days during the week. Yeah. But now, like, now that I have my kids, yeah, it's like, okay, see, to, um, I have them tomorrow. That's why I couldn't so do you have the five night. Oh, okay. And then I have them Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's like, that's all I'm doing this yeah. weekend. Yeah. Like, Kim Kardashian could DM me. <laughs> And you with like, you with the kids. I'm with, I'm with my kids, you know. <laughs> you heard that, Kim? No, you know, but, you know me and my mom could watch them for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can we can figure something out. <laughs> you, know? you know, when there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. But uh, you know, like for a long time, I, I miss handful of days with the kids, like only when I had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah. if I had to go to Italy, like one time I went to Italy, I couldn't see them that one. But I try to really be with them mm -hmm. all the time. How yeah. is it being a father, bro? It's the best. Yeah. Once you have like something you created in your hands, like it's crazy, eh? a living thing, just it's drinking like a dog times ten, you know. <laughs> Yo, okay. Does it make like? Did it make you go harder though? Do you think like uh, in business and yeah? And because I'm like thinking about leaving them a legacy, like even something like when I'm not here anymore, they could say like, "Yo." There's like 300 episodes of my dad talking. Yeah, oh, you're gonna be you way know? past 300. Yeah, by yeah. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> you know, not know what, but whatever, whatever the number is, you know, sure. like, yeah. Are you so then the kids could look at it and be like, yo, my dad was a G, you know? Yeah. I think they're already going to look at you look yeah. at you like my dad was a G. Yeah. Something you know what I mean? You know? are, you, are you ever worried about the world we live in now and, and having All having the time. Children? Yeah. For sure. First of all, I don't, I, like, I always think like the world could end any day, you know? Like, That's how we're moving now. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I'm like, why did I bring these kids here? Like, there's going to be a meteorite that kills us all. You know, yeah. like, the aliens are going to you know, come and then, the then aliens, we're done. You know, Elon Musk going to kill us all. <laughs> yeah. uh, fucking, uh, we're going to be on the water. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. I think about that shit all the time. It's Especially hard. when I smoke a lot of weed. Oh, yeah. then you start fucking yeah, getting paranoid. Bananas. Yo, we were trying to figure out. We're like, yo, should, like, would, would he be down to spark a, a fucking joint? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? yeah. Okay, say fucking less. Spark one, bro. We'll light it up. No, sorry. I just, I didn't, we weren't sure, bro. We're, we're no, Dean. You, I feel like I feel like smoke on the pod? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you're not allowed to. No, who said that? Like I, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't monetize it if, if you do. Bello, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> the, bro. The bello, take the monetization <laughs> off this one. Those baby. are chiquitos. Uh. Listen, I don't know. We went across the street and there was some we fucking didn't go guy. Far, bro. I'm like, we we, we can't go too. Because crazy. you know what it is. What do you think about the deli small uh, selling pot now? It's crazy. Oh, right? what? They are. Oh, I didn't Wait. know. It was, no, it wasn't a deli. It was like no, a, no. It was, it was, a it was some weed. Yeah, shop, but, but bro, they, it's it's illegal. Oh yeah, no, I that's why I walk I walked <laughs> in. All right, well, bro, so it's a smoke, it's a buddy. smoke shop. Cut the bro, fuck so I it's walk a, in. It's a smoke shop walk, that sells weed, bro. I this walk is, into the is... guy and I'm just like, I start seeing C B D and once I start seeing them, I'm like, oh they can't, they don't have weed. Yeah. So I go to the guy, I'm like, bro, I'm from Toronto. I don't know how this works. You guys have weed weed, like real weed? He's like, yeah, bro. I'm like, okay, where is it? You have a spro for the bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. So then that's but it, that's bro. a new thing, bro. It's like what, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but it's it's gonna get legalized, no? Here, is it, yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I heard, right? But it's like a year or so away. Okay, you gotta see okay. in Toronto, dude. Dispensaries everywhere, bro, bro. Toronto was the first place I ever went to uh -huh. where they were like smoking weed in a cafe everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That but was now, fire. Now it's like smoking in front of the cops. Like Everyone's stoned. Everyone's stoned in Toronto. Yeah, yeah, twenty four seven, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, you guys well, even, even LA is like that. 
LA, bro, LA, bro. We went yeah. to smoke weed in LA. We almost fucking took off. We almost went into Mars, bro. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> stupid there. Yo, like, but that's why, bro. I'm, yeah, I'm they're stupid they're, as fuck, they're all bro. High. Yeah, they're stupid as they're, fuck. They're giving you Toronto. weed that's like fucking 100% THC. And, you're, and then you're walking around. You're like, now I know why everyone's a fucking zombie here. They're walking around, crap, people yelling. Ah, it looks like zombie land over there, dude. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, going back to the, the father thing, I wanted to mention a bit too. Like, do you, do you ever like worry about being able to, I feel like, Kids are so exposed now, like compared mm -hmm. to like when we were kids, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the online world. Mm -hmm. You ever feel like you won't be able to protect them from seeing all this shit that we see? I like, feel you know? like because I'm with them and like our my influence with them and their mom's really good with it too, okay. that they'll be able to make the right decisions. Yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, like growing up, the girls that had the strictest parents were the ones like Blowing everybody on the staircase. You know? <laughs> it's it's fast. true. No, it's yeah. actually true. Yeah, so it's like, because they just wanted to be that rebel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they just, you know, like they just wanted to be rebels. Like they want to taste some peach, You know. <laughs> yeah, they want the peach already, <laughs> Bello. <laughs> Fucking crazy, bro. But that's why, like, you know, you just gotta let your kids know they're loved, and that's it. Like they're, they're seven, you said. Yeah. So at that age, like, what are you trying to instill in them as a father? Like, what are you trying to show them? I mean, like, a lot about the value of money and, like, teach them that they could do whatever they want. Yeah. You know, because my kids are, like, always, like, seeing shit on TikTok and YouTube. Like, they they know what I do now. Now okay. they understand They're what I do. They're starting to understand it. You know what I mean? So, and I tell my daughter, because my daughter has a huge personality. I'm like, you could do this too, you know? Wow. Instead of, like, going to fucking school till you're 21. Go be and a teacher. Go be a lawyer. Go be a like, fucking surgeon. I don't surgeon. want my kids to be a, a cop. Or a fireman, you yeah, know, like you yeah. could be a business owner, be a club know? promoter. There you go. There you go. See, you know? Like my son, be a my fucking son, club promoter. My son actually says it now, which is crazy, but he says like, "I'm gonna run the panini shop." That's amazing. At seven, you must, and he, amazing. He must love to hear that. So bro. I ask him like, "What are you gonna do when you take?" He's like, "I'm gonna fire you and no, no." <laughs> <laughs> First <laughs> okay, you're hired. That's you're amazing. Hired. So like, That's you know, like my kids, <laughs> I feel like they're great kids already. They're not like, yeah, yeah, yeah. little no, jerk because offs. you know what? We talked to so many people that are like that age where it's like, okay, do I have a kid? Do I not have a kid? And a lot of them are just like, bro, I don't want to bring a kid into this world. A lot of people say that. A lot of people are saying that right now. But at the same time, it's like, there's never really a perfect time. Yeah, there's never a perfect time. You know? If anything, it's going to get worse. I think this guy over here is really down to pop one out soon. You yeah? said it. I'm do down. you guys got girls? No. I do, I do. I'm down, though. Like, I've been with my girl forever. And like, I feel like everybody that I've seen that I know was like a hustler, that they had a kid. First of all, it's just like, like you said, like. I can't imagine holding something that, like, was mine, you know? Like, that's crazy. You want to hear? And uh, I think that's the first thing. And I think the second thing is that every, every one that so I've wait, seen do it. I'm sorry, you it, said that anybody that was a hustler when they had kids stopped? No, 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 no. No, like, went harder. Oh, went harder. Yeah, went me harder. too. Yeah, yeah. That's you know what I mean? I mean? Like, and that's why I kind of asked you that question. I'm always curious to see, like, what the response is because I feel like, yeah, like, it becomes, like, a legacy thing. It's like, you always think, like... If you're an entrepreneur or a hustler, you're always like, yeah, yeah, I got to build a business. I'm going to be the biggest, bro. This is, this is amazing. But then it's like, you have a kid and it becomes like a legacy thing. You're like, whoa, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. I got to leave something on this on this earth for these kids that like people can look back back and be like, yo, your dad, like that was your, that was your pops, bro. Like look yeah. what he did. Like that's fucked. You know what I mean? Like I know guys that are like that and that, like, you know what I mean? And you look at like, holy shit, that's insane. Right. So to be able to, be able to do that is sick. And then. I don't know. Like, yeah, I feel like uh, some, something's telling me sooner is better than later. I could be wrong. I don't know. But but like you said, I feel like it's always just like there's never a perfect time, you know? Legacy to me is everything, like doing something that nobody else could do. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people could start a, a super popular food spot, but how many people could be this kind of bridge from Italy to America? Of course. Like, and it's from my whole journey in life. Yeah. Led me to this shit from the club promoting, like, booking artists and booking djs and i think i think you know that like that that could be like something like that's looked at as like literally like le like legendary yeah and then on top of that bro i think and i, didn't I really think start anything yet i just interviewed them yeah yeah like i didn't do this stuff that i got planned yeah, but, that's, like, but that's how you got it bro you got to build that connection yeah, yeah. right you, you you make the intro and i feel like i feel like that's even just the audience that you guys have garnered and built just that alone is impressive bro you guys are like what probably in and around a million, uh, like across all platforms. Oh yeah, definitely. Two point five million. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're way so, past okay, that. Okay, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so there you go. Like, you know, we, we got like it's a lot of whops, bro. Yeah, <laughs> lot, you know what I mean? Like, geals, yeah, <laughs> like that's crazy. Like, so just to be able to build an audience that big, bro, it's not easy. Like, people don't realize that's fucking tough. 
Yeah, man. That's why we're super proud of what we're doing. And yeah, you, know, you gotta be. You should be, dude. We're just pushing it. So yeah. what is what does your pop say now after after everything? Now he listens to everything I said. Ninety <laughs> percent business stuff he listens. Yeah. Even him, like the he was telling us, bro. Like he was being super transparent. He's yeah. like, "Listen, times have changed, and he understands yeah. things more than I do right now." I got it. So, I got to say, yeah, your dad. But for bro, someone who's like an old school Italian, for them to say that is like, wow, because he's seen it. Yeah. Well, well I got to say, me he, and my dad, we had like this thing where when I first came over, he was making like a certain amount on Grubhub. Okay. And he like made a deal with me and my sister. Like, once you get over this number a month on Grubhub, yeah. anything over, you could keep. Wow. Right? Oh, then grind like, time. It's basically a deal that is um, impossible. Yeah. Yeah. To, oh, he put a number on it that was yeah. like, you can't even hit it. Yeah. Right. No, no. Like, it was basically like double what it was. Okay. And I doubled that number. You doubled the, the, yeah, the goal. Yeah. And he's like, and he, he, bro, he can't afford to pay me that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just like, he knows. You For know? sure. Bro, he was telling us some of the numbers on like the amount of paninis yeah. per day. Yeah, yeah. And we could not believe how the many, fucking How many paninis you guys saying? crush in there a day? Bro, we have on like, average, we have a we have a thousand pieces of bread every day, between wow. heroes, ciabatta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, rolls, ba- all that shit. Holy fuck! Sometimes we throw out fifty. Sometimes we got to get more bread. You know? Yeah. So it depends on the day. But still, a thousand is. But insane. when it's nice out, it's crazy. Oh, I can, I can imagine. People eat outside. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people are just ordering, staying home, it's not as many. But when you got People ordering plus yeah. a lot of people outside. Yeah, it's super busy. But how know? about even with the Uber Eats and all the Grubhub and shit? We're not on Uber Eats. We're on Grubhub. That's it. And our own uh, platform. There yeah. you go. Okay, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say because you get Child juiced now. on the other ones. And we like convert a lot of people to our own shit. Yeah, that's the goal. We're a little right? cheaper there. You yeah, know? yeah, of course. You know? For sure. No, I was gonna ask about Uber Eats. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna ask if you were Uber Eats. I was gonna say well, they fucking juice. What we do is we get like I made these flyers with a QR code, mm-hmm. and we're like, you want to save money, order direct, and every order. On Grubhub, we staple it, and then they order direct. What's the like? You guys have a guy there? Just it's a no. It's uh this uh, app Chow now. Okay. So instead of paying fourteen percent, you're paying like a hundred dollars a month. Ah, beautiful. They're oh, smart. They're, they're smart. smart. They're smart. fucking massive. Yeah, that's crazy. So but that's like the big a big difference. A thousand too. panini a day. Oh, um, you know, a good day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'm in the uh, wrong nobody, business too. Bro. Hopefully, no like. Uh, <laughs> the, no, fucking, IRS is the IRS is watching. The IRS. It's only a hundred. No, he yeah. meant ten. He meant ten a day, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. We just but do it for fun. You, you probably have <laughs> do it for family. It's for free, bro. It's you probably free, have bro. fucking guys that come there every day. No, oh, is there people that come the there every day? Guys. People that come every day. Bro. Every day. You got the construction people that'll be like on a project for three years, but like mm. there's like people that like somebody lives next door. Yeah. Or oh, somebody that works over. at the dog place. Like people that. Like my girls, when they see somebody come in, they just start making their order already. Oh my god! You know what I mean? Like, but let's say you but get. But they a, love that too. That's let's probably, say you get two spros, bro. <laughs> yeah. When they see the two bros come, they yeah, get two the, spros. Two spros. You know? Okay, okay, they know. Yeah. You know, no, you know, man, yo, and the spros were quick, bro. I gotta yeah. say, the Dude, we had, yeah. we had yeah. fucking quick. four spros. We had four spros. Four we just we, we had we had a your, spros, we, your sister, your sister wouldn't she, stop. She just bro. kept giving us spros. We were gonna see. She's a coffee pusher. Yeah, coffee. Coffee. He'll vouch for. But the coffees. How do you say coffee? Coffee. Yeah. It's a coffee. Yo, it's the coffee. She, coffee. It's the coffee pusher. She really goes like, oh, <laughs> you coffee? know what I mean? So we had one when we got in, before the food came, no, after no. the food came, no, and no, then hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to give more because there was way more that happened. Of course. We went in, course. your sister, legend, sprolls right off the bat, boom, let's go. Your dad comes over, he's like, here we go. The thing is like, it reminds me of my dad and his dad. Mm-hmm. So like, boom, we start, we start chatting. This guy's telling us the whole story, boom. Fresh mozzarella, right? Yeah, I brought it out, Ooh. bro. I'm like, brought it out with the dude. glaze, with the prosciutto, like crazy. Yeah, when like, he like has to flex, he knows. Oh, he was, flex. He, oh, he, he was flexing, bro. but it was amazing. Dorangina's everything, like, bro. He was giving us. He's like, I got the best mozzarella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the best stuff. everything. Then he On tells the toothpick, us, boom. Oh, <laughs> yo, it was yeah. crazy. Then we got four sandwiches. We chopped yeah. them up. Everybody tried one. Yeah. Sprolls after. Merch bags come. Merch out. bags. You know what's funny? I just thought of crazy. Um, the, maybe it was recent, but. You were wearing my hat in a video. Of course, I want. And somebody sent it to me. Yeah, yeah. and I was just laughing. Like, yeah, no. I bro, I wear I the get, merch I, all the time. Yeah. I wear your merch all yeah, the time. Yeah. So, but sick. someone like one of my friends sent it to me. Like, he's wearing your hat, and yeah. I'm like, I'm supposed to do the podcast. Uh, yeah, I was on another was podcast. Like, yeah. I was wearing it. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. It was recent. Yeah, last month. It was really like last week though. Someone sent it to me. Yeah, I'll probably still posting clips. That's why. Yeah, yeah. like a lunatic. But yeah, you bro, got the it fucking on, merch. Uh, like this, you'll see around summertime, no? Bro, I got it. I got it. The duffel bag, dude. We got fucking set up nice. <laughs> this this podcast. I was like, oh, yeah, this one. That's why you're wearing the basketball jersey. <laughs> yeah. 
This was coming out. Yo, this was coming out in uh, in December. This was- <laughs> For Christmas, at the Christmas. Episode. We're gonna Sorry. pretend we're in Miami when we release this one. <laughs> Yo, oh, that's why I put the trees over here. That's it. Christmas trees. What Christmas do you uh, What do you like about living in New York? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. No, it has to be nothing. Just my bro. kids. Really? Yeah, yeah. My kids and the access to all these. Would you ever calls. move? Would you ever move to Miami? Maybe when they're older. Mm. Yeah, but you're saying you would move with, like, just on your own. I I always think like. I don't know. I always had like this vision of my kids like going to school somewhere, you know? Yeah. Maybe I go to school in Florida or something. Sounds good, bro. Who knows? I mean, I wish I did that shit. Of course. You know, I was working at the shop. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think like that would be a good experience for a kid, you know? Yeah. So I always like vision once they're older, like doing half and half or some shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. You Florida's the way. Once man. you reach a certain bracket, you got to do six months in a day in, my, in Florida. Yeah. You know? Of course. Facts. You know, for a tax break. So if you're really lit, no, you, you guys have do that. It. You guys have that. We don't have that yet. We're still working. We're still working on our. You're visas, working on getting becoming citizens. No, the visa. It's got to be a visa oh, first. Visa first. So that there's a yeah. process to it, but it's not easy, bro. This guy got to go get a like a girlfriend, marry her in New York, make it easy. I'm, for I got you. no problem with that. You know, no I got no, I'm gonna try and find a Latina in, in uh, Florida. But, no, we, we had we had a girl sitting across from us. Oh, Sophia Franklin. Yeah, yeah. Shout How out was Sophia she Franklin. Person, by the way, amazing. I think everything you see on camera. How many Marons? <laughs> I was in my head, or my, in my head, or what I said out loud, because I was right, like, "What would you say out loud?" <laughs> yeah, which one? She asked you, "What do you rate me at a 10? No, we asked her. We actually, actually asked her to rate us, but then oh, she, really? did, she did yeah, the same. We, we did. She, she gave us a shkif answer, dude. Yeah, yeah. What she she gave us a shook answer because they well, were like, she like dated that little, uh, you know, soup man. Soup man, yeah, bro. We, I was yeah, asking about soup man the whole time. We did the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, we did the whole thing. But yeah, it was a good episode. No, she was good. She was really cool. She was really cool. We got. She fucked up a little bit though, cause. <laughs> yo. yeah, yeah, what, hold on what's the narrative around new york about, around that i mean somebody <laughs> made a lot of money and someone, <laughs> and someone didn't yeah you know what I'm somebody yeah. clearly came out on top of that one yeah facts it's fine you know? yeah yeah that's a that was a tough no one, disrespect uh, but no hey listen i mean it is what it is i think situation. she's taking it pretty well now She's 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 doing her own thing. I yeah. mean, I don't know enough about him. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you <laughs> she's know. not a tally. She's not gonna get on the show. Yeah, <laughs> she's not ever gonna get on the Maybe show. Maybe she got three or four percent of the whole. <laughs> yeah, we could put some in her. Right. She needs to. You yeah, know? it's no problem. Yo, I gotta, I gotta, bro, yo, I gotta ask you a question. We were talking about this earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Does Lil Mo speak Italian? <laughs> you know, what's so funny. <laughs> his family is so Italian. Okay. Like his nonna is off the boat. Doesn't mm. speak English. Okay, his parents wow. were born in. I think his nonna was born there. Yeah. Okay. But he like he knows like a couple little phrases. The minimum. Okay, okay so he doesn't speak Italian. Italian. He's been to Italy though. But he doesn't speak Italian. No, he speaks the absolute minimum. The only like Damn. There's, the there's the video. There's the video. I thought for sure he could speak Italian. There's bro. the video. He goes, uh, someone fooled. goes, yeah, say fooled. three words in Italian. He goes, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I died. Yo, and so I died. I got a funny story how I met Yeah, him. yeah. Okay, yeah. So French Montana Here re- we go. releases That's this crazy. mixtape called Mac and Cheese 4. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah, yeah. Now, I was obsessed with this. On the way here, we were listening to mixtapes. Like, that yeah. was the era when you the put, The French like, Montana mixtapes was crazy. the Mac best and, yes, era Mac of all time. Mac and Cheese 4. So that song, Moneybags, yep. with Diddy. Yep. Moneybags intro. I got a lot of nicknames. Sammy Sausalito. Joey Boombats, yeah. Frankie Forget About It. Yeah. You know why Richie? You know Richie? You know why Richie did Bobby Lupo? <laughs> like yeah. it's Mo's voice. Yeah. Doing two characters. Okay. Bro, now because like I love the Italian shit, bro. I have a page growing up Italian. I love the Italian shit. Yeah. Me and my cousins, we listen to this every time we're in a car. Mm. You know, like this is why I'm like driving around, smoking weed all day. <laughs> like listening to the fucking mac and cheese for hot mixtape. Yeah. In my shop in Queens. I hear a voice and I just go to him, yo, you Sammy so Salito? And he's like, yeah, Mo. Stop. Bro, no at this time, way. he didn't even have fucking social media yet. Crazy. His wife wouldn't let him have social media. Wow. But whenever I would see him, bro, you should do social media. Bro, you should do social media. Then, like, he starts during the, the fucking Malatia. Is that when he started? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. No, he's been. So man. he grew, grew fast. Yeah. yeah. He's hilarious, bro. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's great. Jokes. So, like, what does he do all day? Just run around just <laughs> making videos? Like, yeah, like, pretty much. That's you know what, what it looks like. like. You Hold want on. him here? You give him a bag, he'll show up. For real, eh? You got, how much you got in your pocket? <laughs> Not enough, dude. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, I got, uh, I got a couple of fuzzles for you. Okay? Hold on. Wait, yeah. what do you want to do? No, you know what? I DM'd I could him. Do, I could do a story I seen post. him going off with, uh, with Grubman, too. 
Yeah, bro, Grumman loves it. Yeah, yeah. Sure, he's promoting, I was just uh, with them over there. Yeah. yeah. Grumman yeah, yeah. and Cooge, I was like, oh, my God. Thank <laughs> God. I have a fucking funny story. Like, that Mo told me. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble even saying this story. No, you're but good, bro. What, uh, this, I wasn't there this time. But he said the first time he met Grumman, that he's like, what is boy? Bro, Grumman's that $1,600 poppy steak. Yeah. You know, this, that. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, how about you charging a post nowadays, you know, to do a post for us? About what this bill is? <laughs> <laughs> you get smart, <laughs> bro. But he told me that story. I spit out my water. Yeah, because he was promoting. It. He was promoting a lot of their shit, right? Grubman's uh, venues. When yeah, he was but there. Grubman like is the goat. Of, of course, course. Bro, of course, the fucking goat. That guy is the goat, bro. He was like making fun of me a little bit when we were, because I was like, he brings out this uh, shrimp cocktails with a sauce, and I like go to taste the sauce. <laughs> yeah, he did a little bit. It was those the poppy steak sauce. It's like, what are you fucking weirdo tasting the sauce? What are you drinking the sauce? Like, He's like super blunt, dude. Yeah, He'll just yeah, say yeah. what he needs to say. And then like him and Kush took a picture, and I was taking a picture. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? He's not getting the shoes. He's not getting the shoes. <laughs> no. like, bro, I literally missed this much. And I'll show you the pictures after. <laughs> What'd you miss the fucking? I missed like the t- like right here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like he's like, he's, he's a straight shooter, dude. Yeah, he's I a, love him. He's a straight shooter. That's when the we reason met him he is where he is. Real. Yeah. We walked he's in, he super, blasted us. Like on top of it, everything. Yeah. Yeah. When he we walked into his his condo, he just started blasting us right away. Yo, eat something. We're like, no, we're good. He said, eat something. Okay, no problem. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh, he's yeah. the king of Miami, though. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Tell you what, last time I went, I had him as a friend. Best time I've ever had in Miami. Oh, of course, he took care of us everywhere. Of course, he's the key. He's literally he the king has of everything Miami. Everything on lock. Everything everyone on lock. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, even like when I follow him on Instagram, it makes me work a lot harder. Dude, yeah. seeing what he's doing yeah. with the people he's with at all times. The at biggest all times. people all the time. Yep. 24 like, 7. Everything goes through him. He, he runs well, the he runs the biggest, yeah. the most popular city in America right now. Yeah. yeah. That's or it. entertainment driven right now. Bro, it popular. is it, it, I mean Yo, yo, you're American. What the fuck do Americans think of Florida and Miami? Like, you love it. I don't know. Everyone in Toronto's all scared. Like, bro, everyone whips out a gun and shoots each other. Like, what are you guys talking about? I bro? mean, it definitely does happen because everybody no. got a gun. <laughs> no, but, but Bro, Not like Florida that, people are weirdos. Okay. okay. Like, like you talking like make swamp, fun of people, like, like swamp ble- people? Like, like, no, just when you see like, like alligator headline, people like, and shit. Florida man, yeah, Tom no. Russell's alligator. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 something crazy. Florida man. Uh, There's that thing where you can Google Florida man and then like on the and, yeah. and a date and a different yeah, yeah, yeah. date every day. Florida and man, something's March fifteenth, uh, and something will come yeah, up from yeah. that day about a Florida man. Yeah, that's a good one, bro. That's yeah. fucked. I seen that. Dangerous. Yeah. So, so you guys think they're fucking weird over there? Yeah, and it's too hot. Like, I need to change the seasons. But you like cold? I like, don't like cold. Though. Like Toronto cold. You're I not like fucking hoodie weather. Yeah, that, like that's 55, the cold. 55, 60 degrees. It's like this, like, like New this York, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we just had like a couple of cold days, but yeah. New York winters lately, they've been good. Like, knock on wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Tron- Toronto's about to get like 10 centimeters of snow. Beautiful, dude. 10 like, centimeters. Oh, how, how do you guys do How's fucking, that in. Uh, what do you guys do? Fucking in inches? inches? Yeah. No oh. way! They'll be like, "Yo, ten inches of something, inches of yeah. snow." Oh shit! Okay, see, ten centimeters is nothing. Nothing, huh? dude. Fucking like this. A bazillion. <laughs> but no, but trust me, Toronto's not built for anything. Like, no. it's the worst infrastructure yeah, of all time. Yeah. Like when you guys get a snowstorm, you can't leave. Shut everything. Shut it down. And nobody knows how to drive. Everything changes. See over here too. Like a little snow, people have no food in the house. They're all gonna starve. These poor people. Oh yeah, these so they start y- buying these, everything. These hipsters, yeah, they go crazy. <laughs> toilet like, paper, everything. They start. Yeah, toilet paper. We, we can't nobody can't take foods. a shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got, you, bro. That's the craziest thing to me. Yeah. Like, why are you gonna buy fucking six rolls of, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Like, why you're gonna be home for a day, two days? <laughs> you know, there's no for a reason to buy storm, Asian you're saying. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. Holy now every little thing, something like that. You actually want to ask you guys? People are too question. scared, bro. People are sc- people are scared easily, Bello. Like, That's I'm, what happens. I'm, I'm curious about this. Yeah. Mm. Like, if you guys were on my show, this would be like one of the questions I want to ask. Okay. okay. But why do Canadians obsess over American politics? Because ours because isn't good enough. No, no, like, no. I can no, tell no, you no, right no, now. I'll, I'll tell you that. Well, I'll tell you the real answer. I'll tell you we're the real answer. Because whatever America does, we Canada copy. has no choice. Yeah. We're influenced by you guys. So, th- like, your oh. your presidential election matters so much to us because we know at the end of the day it's going to affect our government. Really? Yes. Bro. Uh, like New York has more people than our whole country. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you have I, to think about that. Just because we're massive, we have the same population. We have way less people. Bro. I, I, I think about this all the time. Like, are the Americans stupid? Or because, like, like, if you ask a hundred Americans right now who yeah. the president of Canada is, 
They it's don't the prime minister. Person, but why would you know? Prime minister. Why would you yeah. know? But why so would you? Know? You guys don't have kings and queens. <laughs> no, like, I mean, technically, like we're owned, we're owned by Britain. So like, yeah, really? yeah, still? we do. Yeah, yeah, we still are. You guys didn't find no wars. No. Can't buy it back. Bro, we got thirty. We got thirty million people, bro. So you guys pay taxes to Great Britain? We we pay all our money that we make. We give it back. You guys suck. Yeah, it's it's brutal. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I listen, what, they it's, just what's the ta what's the tax right now? It's hard. Listen, it's they hard. It's it. hard. It's not easy being Canadian, bro. It's tough. I'll tell you right bro. now. I'll tell you for free. It's right? tough. And it the sun easy. comes out once a month. No way. I have guys. Bro, 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 bro. We have full like, moons. We'll, we'll have like like a sixty day. Gray yeah, run no sun. In, in Toronto. Really? Where I'm the not sun even joking, come out. dude. How does kid get so tan now? Oh, he's traveling, bro. Bro, Miami, bro. Oh, Are you crazy? Miami, Mexico. Let's go. Miami, over here, over there, bro. <laughs> Turks, I just had Turks and Caicos. But that's the problem. When you're over there, you, you tend to just want to leave and travel more. You're like, I got to get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but over here, I couldn't live here straight up. But Drake here? changed you guys, man. You guys Yo. don't move different Drake anymore. Made us, bro. <laughs> I got I to gotta thank the goat. I got to thank the fucking goat. That guy put us on the map in a way that. Like, wait, we're, are you we're shouting out Drizzy right now? Yeah, I have to 100%. <laughs> That's crazy. No, hopefully, he sees this. Thing. Great, no, Shut listen, up. listen. Drizzy's, I'm gonna do what I did manifest, manifest do it. again. Drizzy has seen us, he's like, it's fine. he's liked it's fine. stuff. Oh, yeah, he's liked stuff from our pod. It's a Yo, matter of time. He is super in tune with what's going on for sure. I don't we, know. we have an inside joke that he goes through his phases of like stealing accents, so like. He was on the Jamaican accent for yep. a while, yeah, Spanish yeah. In the thing. UK. Yep. Yeah, he did and his now, thing. Like he was following Cooge and DM and Cooge to go to Toronto. It was yeah. a real story. Oh yeah. And I was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like now we're convinced he wants to go in his Italian American era. Wow. Yeah, he's on his like mob vibe. I think that's yeah. the last thing he's missing. Like, no, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We gotta, we gotta. <clears throat> in Toronto. We gotta teach him. We gotta teach him. Hundred, wait, are you gonna manifest something right oh, now? Yeah, sorry. Let me go back quick. <laughs> Drake, I know you see us. There's been DMs sent. There's been a lot of a lot of connections one way, we're trying one to way make. DMs. Just Did do what like you gotta do. He's like, no, no, he didn't like the DMs where he's liking posts. Did he leave you on scene? He hasn't even opened it. Damn. If he know, opened it, that'd be a different Just, conversation. Listen, we're talking yeah. about Drake, the biggest of the, in the world, okay? Yeah. We'll, we'll have you here one day, okay? Do, do the boys a favor. I had to let, I had to let That's that all, Okay, it's I done. I will tell you one thing. I think he's the kind of guy that if he really fucked with you guys, he would follow you right away. Yeah. Because he's that kind, like from what I see, like in everybody that I know that has interacted with him in New yeah. York, it's like, he knows when to hop on the waves. Yeah, it's true. You know? It's true. So like But 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 you have to remember, like, being Canadian, like we don't have pull like that. Like, you know what I mean? He wants to connect with the places. What much about more. if you guys start like a revolutionary war not to pay Great Britain taxes? <laughs> You guys will be those guys. We bro, should already be doing that, laptop. to be honest. Open up the fucking laptop. Manifest Start making notes. Up. Start taking you know notes. <laughs> Start taking Fuck, notes. Yeah, we got to do something. We got to do something that's a game changer. Did Canada ever fight a war? Uh, Dean, I, I what do we what? think? No. Yeah. <laughs> which which <Hell> one? No. <laughs> yeah. Buddy. Was it in a dream of yours or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, think, oh, wait, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I think, I think, did we actually... Really? Oh, that's crazy. That's pretty much. Exactly. I don't I know know so you guys started one fire. We started one and, fire. Uh, and give us credit, years. bro. Give us credit. Yeah, give us credit. Crazy. Come on, bro. I know. It's okay. What do are you people do? have guns in Canada? No, no, you can't do nothing in Canada. No, 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 you can have guns, but they're trying to ban them completely. It's crazy. So there was actually something that just happened. Okay, mm -hmm. where there was a, a home invasion, mm -hmm. and the guys that were robbing the place, right, beating up the mom or something, and the guy that was living there, I guess that his his the son, mm -hmm. had a legal gun license. Shot the guy killed and uh, killed the guy. And then he went to jail for killing the guy. Um, like they're charging the guy for like literally protecting his house. He's, and his So mother. he's getting charged for murder. Some, some situations like that here, like if you ever like talk in front of my panini shop to some construction or what, yeah. local guy. Sure. Yeah. They'll be like, if you're going to shoot somebody, you better kill him because it's yeah. one story. Yeah. So yeah. Like, Facts. Don't shoot him. <laughs> uh, don't shoot him in the back and then they die. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Kill him. You gotta kill so him. So now he's yeah. he's he's going down for murder. Fuck, bro. Like, for defending some in your own house, defending your mom. That's kind of fucked, no? Yeah, that's fucked up. That's kind of fucked up. That's bless where we're America. at. That's where Canada's at. God bless America. Yeah. I'm saying the same thing. Okay. In Florida, it's <laughs> never happening. No <laughs> shot, bro. Literally. <laughs> Florida. Literally, is. Never. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's like that's where it's at right now. New York, maybe you do some time for half and half. It's gonna be a I mean? balance, yeah. Yeah. Depends on, you know, if the gun's legal, that's just, or, you know. That's what I was going to say. But for, for real, someone in your house, fuck, bro, it's game on. If someone's in your crib, dude, you know, for me, you, it's game on. You, it's can like, have a, you can have a legal gun here. Me? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> me? No, I'm saying like the average person, yeah, it's yeah. easier to get like a shotgun or some shit. Like a hunting okay. license yeah, kind like, of thing? Well, hunting license is one thing. Like, okay. You can't use that. 
in the city. You're saying a like, protective. Let's say I live in Queens, Brooklyn. I got a hunting license. Like your gun can be loaded. Like in, in while you're yeah okay yeah like let's okay. say you're even okay. driving upstate to go hunting like the gun needs to be one place the bullets need to be another you know yeah okay. keep them separate yeah they have that in Toronto too but yeah. at the end of the day bro <laughs> yeah you got yeah. it you know yeah yeah you have no choice yeah you know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. You know no what I'm saying? Like, yeah yeah. The it's a zombie fucked. apocalypse outside the house. That's you're what spraying. I'm saying. Hundred percent, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's true. It's true. At the end of the day, yeah. it is what it is. So that's where Canada is. Out. You could pretty much invade a home, mm -hmm. and then you're okay. Like you can, the guy can't do anything. You can only invite him for spro. That's it. You gotta be like, oh, while you're <laughs> here, bro, have a you fucking spro. Can't kill you or anything, bro. but have a spro. <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy man. That's wild. It, yo, is Trump is Trump gonna get arrested? I think that didn't happen. I mean, I don't pay attention to that shit. No, okay. I don't know what's I happening. Hate, with I hate that, that kind of shit. You, you know? don't fall, like, you don't fuck with politics and shit. No, at I all? make fun of like anybody that's one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. yo, you're really gonna let somebody? I make... guess that's because you're not from Canada. If you were from Canada, you would you would think about it differently. I promise. Yeah, because Maybe. you'd be affected more by the politics, is what I'm saying. No, but some people that I know really like they go real, they real go hard. Mad hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I hate. Like I always make fun of people, both sides. Yeah. Like I play both sides. Of like, course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, come on. I know. You guys, well, like, you guys stormed the Capitol. Stop it. You know, <laughs> you know or like, like, I'll just play either side. You'll do both sides. Well, that's good. Yeah. that also gets the views, though. Which I don't good. do it on the show. Oh, though. you don't do it? I do it in person. Okay. You know? Okay. I never really do it on the show. No. I'll do it on your show. Do okay. it on my show. Anytime. Do it you can do it on this show, that's for sure. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. Guaranteed. Dude. Guaranteed. So, yeah. Beans, we appreciate you, Bello. Yo, thank, thank you, you for coming. For no, no, anytime. We got to come on your show next. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, We got to do something in Miami. I think we got to do something in Miami, to be honest. 100%. Um, but yo, I got a, I got the famous question. Hold oh on. yeah, yeah. Relax. Yeah, Take fuck. it easy for a second. My bad. Okay, we're the MBH podcast. Money buys happiness. Facts. Mm -hmm. Do you believe money buys happiness? Hell yeah. Yeah. I'd rather cry in a Ferrari than a Honda Accord, right? Yeah. Yeah. I need time. It's a fact. It's a fact. Okay, easy. Okay, we keep it simple. <laughs> See, there's no All explanation right. needed. <laughs> Some people go off, you know, but no. I'd rather hear vroom vroom, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a couple sprawls and that's it, buddy. Holy fuck. No, oh, thank you, bro. Appreciate salute. it, man. Yes, yes. Guys, we made this far. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. We love you.